ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Monster Michael Todd. Yes, sir, Thank you doing? for taking your time. I'm doing very good. My pleasure. How, my pleasure. how are you doing? I'm just ready to arm wrestle. You know what I'm saying? Like, I understand the purpose of all the, the hype and the build up, but I just want to get on the table and arm wrestle. I see you. Um, you're getting, uh, yesterday you were a little bit, I don't want to say more relaxed, but I see as the, as the days go, as the time comes, you're getting more and more in the zone. Probably. So this is, this is different. This is a different time in my life. Um, because I don't feel like this, this is for me anymore. Like I feel mm -hmm. like I'm, I'm doing something bigger than me that I, it takes a lot of the pressure, up, right? It takes a lot mm -hmm. of the pressure because I know I'm doing the work. And if I'm really believe what I'm saying, then you know, as long as I do the work, it's going to show on the table. So am I getting in a zone? Maybe, but it really is just ready to, uh, to get the job done so I can go back home and start training again. Because, you know, I think there's a bigger mission, bigger purpose that's at, at play here. So uh, I know I have a very strong opponent. Um, I think I am extremely prepared. So I'm, I'm just excited about myself. You know? Man, everybody is talking about your match. Everybody is talking about your match. Whoever I talk to, whoever I ask, what match excites you the most? And um, when you think about it, it's not for a title, but right. it's for the number one contender. Well, not necessarily. The winner of this pulls to be the number one contender. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. So, but it, it, there's it's, a lot of implications. Like this match has a lot of, uh, there's a lot of importance. Yeah, on and, this and match. also with the history and stuff, right, and, right. and both of you guys um, having the injury, and, and mm -hmm. really, I think, um, I think it's going to be overall a great match. Everybody, like I said, is yeah. looking forward to it. Um, what I wanted to ask you is, um, which match are you in particularly looking uh, forward, of course, besides your match? Yeah, I mean, um, the thing about our match that's interesting is we both want the same thing. Like, we both want to progress to get the shot at Levon. So that makes it really important for both of us. But Alizan versus Medeshenko, you know, Alizan and Ivan, that, holy crap, like, that's a crazy, crazy match. Like, I can't even pick it. And Alajan just impresses me so much. But Manashenko's a stud, so who yeah. knows what's going to happen. That's one that definitely stands out. Um, there's so many matches that are just insane. Like, there's so many matches that are crazy. But, man, um, uh, Alajan, I think it's not. he's not even close to 115. They're pulling for yeah, the 115, 115 title, title, but yeah. I think he weighs... He might be 110, maybe, yeah. you know. Maybe, but I don't think so either. Yeah. I think he's maximum 125. He doesn't look big. He doesn't look. I mean, he's taking the, like big oh, no, his and stuff forearms like. and stuff look really yeah, impressive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, you're right. I mean, his frame is just not a massive. Frame. But that's what I'm saying. At 105 kgs, he might be the overall number one in the world. Mm -hmm. Like he might be the man. Um, and if he accomplishes this feat, obviously the next one is going after the super heavyweight left hand world title. Which is not outside the realms of possibility. The, the kid's very impressive. Exciting match, you know, very exciting match. Um, um, Irakli versus uh, Totia. How yeah, do you say his yeah, last name? Yeah, that yeah. that kid's amazing. I mean, his top roll is ridiculous. Both yeah. these guys. Very rarely do you see one of them get top rolled. Mm -hmm. And now we did see Irakli get top rolled by Dottie Cam, which And having trouble mind. with John. Yeah, but I mean, I think we see a different Irakli now. I think Irakli's. Mm -hmm. You know, progressed quite a bit since then. But the Dottacan match is relatively recent, mm -hmm. like within the last year. Mm -hmm. um, so it is possible to top row rackley, but he is so strong in his spot. Is that long lever, so to ever whatever, is that going to be a problem? And it's not a match. Insane, right? Uh, you're looking forward to seeing uh, Yoshi pulling again? with. Uh, it's great to see Yoshi. Yeah. I think Todd Hutchins is a problem for a lot of people. Yes. And he's only weighing like 100 kgs, like he could easily make that 95 kg. No, he's weighing 210. So he's yeah. weighing 210. So yeah. that's 95 kgs. That's yeah. like a pound over. So, I mean, he could he could be a problem for the 105 division or the 95 kg, mm -hmm. right? Whoever wins between Devin and Petrenko, Todd could be the next guy on the chopping block for that, right? He could also drop down and, and be that 95 kg. You know, and he can also go and pull 115 if he wants If to. he wanted to, yeah. Because the winner of Arino yeah, and, 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 uh, and he beat yeah, Saga, yeah. right? So there you go. Very impressive. I think I think that he matches up very good with both of uh, Rino and Sago. Yep. So that that's gonna be a big future for for yep. 
for for Uncle Doug. Definitely, definitely. So, so we were on a live earlier, me and Devin, and someone asked about yeah, us so. meeting next year at 115. Mm -hmm. ah! You haven't subscribed yet? What are you waiting for? Subscribe and don't miss any of our great content. The 115 will not be in the cards for me mm -hmm. for a bit, you know, because I'm actually lighter than I thought. I just wait a minute, I'm on like 133, 134. Sorry for interrupting you, but you remember we talked, I think, four months ago before your first comeback match and you told me that you want to focus now on the 115 kg category but you didn't expect that you will make such a fast and good progress. Well, what happened was I got the opportunity to pull for the 115 world title. And at that time, there was not supposed to be a match between that and the 115, but then mm -hmm. he signed up to pull Petrenko. He loses the 105 world title, which means he doesn't get the right to pull for the vacant 115. They couldn't find a, a, someone who wasn't Ukrainian or Russian to, to pull me at 115. And I wasn't gonna pull another rankings match. And I thought, listen, that's cool. 115 world title was just a, a stopping place. That was something I could do in the in, in, interim, right? Yeah. Um, the goal was always over on the one world. The goal was always super heavyweight world champion. So the moment that I saw that play out, I'm like, just give me a super. And I asked for Speckle, but they offered me, they gave me Camille, yeah. which was a great match. I mean, very good, very good opponent, very strong opponent. Um, and then Ingen told me he won that will give you a Gennady, so. I mean, the trajectory, the path is, is is laid out for me. It's just up to me now to do the work and, and, and get the win, so if I do that, I mean, we're six months away from my shot, probably, as long as I do what I'm supposed to do. And then, I think I, I, think I can do it. I mean, I, I can't do it today. Yeah. But you give me that amount of time and things keep moving the direction they're moving, I think I can do it, so after that, then we'll see about, because I'm going to get bigger. Like, I'm going to be, I'm probably going to be, because I was like four kgs bigger when I left the house. Yes. So I've lost like four kgs since like Friday or Saturday, right? So um, I would assume 12 weeks from now, 140, 140. Um, six months from now, 150. Okay. Yeah. And it's going to be a 140 and a 150 still f yeah. pretty fit me, you know what I mean? Like, it's not going to be a, I'm not going to just get here and just go eat like crap and try to just gain weight for the sake of getting weight. I'm going to train as hard as I've ever trained. And I'm going to focus on nutrition and recovery and all the things that are necessary to give myself the best chance. Man, you look phenomenal. I told told it to everybody. I, I had an interview earlier with uh, Todd. I also Todd told him that you look phenomenal since I saw you last time. You, you didn't gain, you didn't, you don't look bloated, you look fit, you look, you look really ready, man. And I'm, well, I appreciate I'm it. And, and, and you see, I, I talked about it last year when Devon was, was uh, building his uh, uh, comeback for the super heavyweight uh, title and then beat Hermes and then had a match with Levan. And it looked like, you know, perfect scenario for a guy to beat Levan. And I think, I think it looks for you exactly the same. As for him, it's it's it's, it's, it's it's like a movie, man. You know. So so when I, you know, I appreciate, that. and then that's a, that's an awesome comparison to be even considered that 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 same likelihood. But here's the, here's the deal. Um, when this injury happened, and then losing my mom and all the things that transpired, uh, going through ketamine treatment back seven months ago, probably eight months ago, yeah, was a game changer. Like it, it switched things for me, and uh, ever since then, I just I see the path, like I see it, you know. And I've always wanted it or aspired to it or somewhat visualized it, but I, I see it, you know. So I'm just excited. I'm just excited to, to play my role in this whole thing. Um, but it will be. Oh yeah. So I said I wanted to create the greatest comeback. Not just in arm wrestling, but in sports. I mean, because I've had many opportunities to call quits, to retire, you know. And this last injury and everything else that happened, couldn't even had a better time to walk out, you know. Yep. But I knew it wasn't done yet. And I knew that, you know, I knew God had a purpose and a plan. So I think we're going to fulfill that. I think it's going to be 
this comeback that defies the odds, you know, that proves the impossible Man, is I'm, possible. You know I'm getting I mean? goosebumps, so, goosebumps listening to you talking. And uh, <laughs> I mean, like I said, I, I don't want to take any credit. I don't want it to course. be. It, this is not. I don't care about being overall number one in the world. Yep. I don't care about getting the praise. I don't want to be the face of the company. I don't want any of those things. I just want to show that with faith and with work and hard work and belief, all things are possible through Christ. And that's it. That's that's my only purpose. So that's it. Michael, thank you for, for these words. Thank you for sharing your, um, your vision for the future. Um, I wish you the best. And... Um, I think I think you you will have you will walk out the winner on Saturday. We will see how how the match goes. Most exciting match for a lot of people, and uh, yeah, man. Appreciate it, man. Good luck. Thanks, Good sir. luck. Thank you very much.